the concept of shooting today was we would it was a fashion shooting yes but it i didn't want to make just a you know classical fashion shooting girls standing there cool lighting cool posing bam 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 it was more kind of playful more i would it was like the inspiration was images of the 70s 80s polaroid images sarah moon this kind of direction but i didn't want to copy them i just love this kind of mood this kind of very soft focus, uh, uh, dimensional graphics, uh, very graphic outfits, clean colors, all these things. I mean, that time it was shot really by Polaroid and then they took the Polaroid and they took the negative to Polaroid and then worked with that one. Uh, we did it now a completely different way. We played with gels, we played with uh, filters, we played with different elements you put in between the image to create levels, to create an atmosphere. Um, what I like is to have a certain kind of chercher la femme in the image. That means not too clear, not too crispy focus, not too punch in the face. More an image which can also a bit remind on the, on the kind of a painting a bit. Uh, and which has occurred in a certain kind of being up and playful also. It's a bit of a fairy tale story. I mean, today we make quite a lot of shots, but this is a kind of when, you, when you're playful. I mean, I'm working very close with Peggy, my wife, and, and she's the same kind of character I am. We, we love to tell stories, that was one thing. And, and if you tell a story, you need footage, you need a lot of bits and pieces to play with. And we are also looking, we, are not, we have a certain idea, we have a certain plan, we are prepared, but we don't know exactly what it will be in the end of the day. So we try things out, we, we make a little bit of improvisation, you know, you see her, for example, her, she's cutting quickly the form out, you're holding front of the camera, we shoot it, we see it, and while I'm doing that, she's trying something else new. So process is our work, and then we see where we end up. And we have a whole day, so we use the day. So yes, in the end, we have hopefully the material, still and film. The energy for in your work, the, the power, the Activity. This is all kind of also a question of character. Every person is different. I'm. I'm. I have a very sporty attitude, and I. For, for me, it's. I, I love to be active, and I. I, I love to use energy, and and uh, I'm. Uh, but but this is a kind of a character. Other people are very quiet and very focused in the same way, and then they may have the same great results. So there is not the one master way. You just can find for yourself the right way. You can find the way how you, what is your character, what is the best way to, wave, to work. I mean, as you, I mean, sure, I need a team which is perfectly prepared and that knows what we're doing and hands are getting into hands and we are like, like one piece gets in the other piece and we're all together like a little machine. Because I'm alone, I'm nothing. And this photography is this kind of sense now go and take a shot with the girl and do your magic. This, I don't like the sentence because it's not that I'm alone doing the magic with the, with the girl. No, we are a team and together we create this magic. None of us alone can do this job. Just as a team, we can do it. My, my energy is something which is there. And then in the morning when you wake up, it's there. It tells you, go for it. It's like a, your own kick in your own ass. And, and you just move. And, and I, I feel a bit like, have you ever seen a mouse, a cat behind a mouse? That's a bit how I feel. I'm like behind the picture and then, yeah, you have to, it's like a little volcano inside of yourself. But I'm not thinking about that. It's like, you are the way you are. Oh, the setup you see here, this is a guy from Hamburg, uh, here in Germany, and uh, from Germany, he's called the Götz, he's doing carpet light. And carpet light is a very great idea. It is, it is really like, this whole light, these LEDs are like carpets. They're very soft, very light. It's very flexible to work with. It's like the opposite of the massive big HMIs uh, where everything is heavy and hot and, and inflexible and nightmare to work with. And here we can recreate a little bit also kind of a daylight atmosphere, which I like. My, my, my dream would be to have a daylight studio in here, but we are a cellar studio, so the exactly opposite, the typical downtown uh, cellar studio, which I love, but I wanted to recreate this kind of a soft lighting and being able to have this uh, very special daylight atmosphere, which I can quite close. This is. Uh, carpets, LED carpets, uh, and what is important for me in general is to be able to move, to to to, to be flexible between film and still. Uh, and I, I don't like this all this time this kind of patch patch what the flash is doing. I love the calm atmosphere. I like you see what you get. You play with the light. You see on the girl. You see it. Just click and you get it. For me, this is the nicest way to work. I mean, I don't have much space in here, but somehow it's good. It's working.
likewise, we create a little bit of a kind of a, a real life situation where you have like a window and you have a late afternoon sun, which is uh, some clouds, quite a cold light, and inside a little bit as if you have switched on some some existing lights, which are normally warm. And this combination I like because it's a little bit of let's call it a bit of a dirty light, but it means something happens in the face of the girl. It is not perfect, but it's beautiful. I would not use that light if I have to shoot lipstick and uh, mascara or something like that because then it's hard because the, the, the color would from here to here have a little change. But for this kind of shooting, it's exactly what I want. I want that there's an imperfection. I want that something happening in the colors and the shadows and the highlights and all that. The camera is definitely the, the base of everything. It's the center. It's the center of the, of the storm, you could say. Whatever we create and in the center, technical has is a camera. That's number one, and uh, that for yeah, it's all about that. And uh, today we work with this at nine, and this camera shows me that this is kind of a yeah, set like an elephant on speed. Uh, this is incredible. This, this is massive, big, like like an airplane, but it is flexing and, and speedy, like like a little mouse. Uh, it is fantastic. I mean, with that, I think there are no limits. I mean, when you put all this effort in your, uh, effort in your work, you expect from from your camera that you get the maximum quality. I mean, that is the minimum you can expect and the minimum you have to expect. You don't make all this effort. There's so many people coming and all together you're working it and then you have a semi-professional tool, impossible. No, you want to have the maximum quality and, and I, I got it today. The Z9 definitely gave me the maximum. I don't think there's any camera on the market which can, you can compare. You can maybe compare the one with the autofocus, the other one you can compare with the sensor, the next one with the high ASA, but here it's only one. And I just click and it's there. And when and I was often asked, you, you are so open with what you're doing and you're not afraid to show the people even what you're doing, how you do it. Uh, and, and, uh, but I think there's nothing to hide and, and everybody can, we're living in a completely transparent world. Everybody sees what everybody's doing. You, it's so easy to find out the technique you're using, all that. Even if somebody would use 100% the same technique, the picture wouldn't look the same. You have your personal language, you have your picture language, you have your own character. I'm not afraid of that, those things. I, I, I'm quite open and transparent in a certain way because the images are in my head. These are just the tools to realize it. And uh, why not sharing? All this stuff you see here it doesn't look too brand new. It's also, I mean, there's boxes, for example, I brought from Bombay, India, uh, and in the plane I was shooting there, and they have this wonderful, or Mumbai, I don't know what's the right word now, uh, and they've had many of these boxes, and I said, I love this box, I want to have them. And they said, How? I said, Yeah, take it with me. So I took it with me, this the airplane. And yes, I like if the things are not brand new, I like if it doesn't look like uh, freshly painted. Uh, it, it's like how life is. We are ourselves. We are not perfect. When you look at your body, you have scarves, you have scratches, you have whatever you have, marks of life. And all these pieces have marks of life. And in, in the end, it makes the picture a bit, looks a bit more lively. I mean, this is not much props. I mean, this is just like the basic thing. Just a little bit. This is the same as if my boys would come, my kids, and they have some stuff to play with. I mean, you see his set, you see backgrounds, you see things that happen. The one thing is, I don't really mind about that. Uh, I love playing with behind the scene, in front of the scene, that you feel a little bit what's going on here. And the other thing, it's a very small studio. I don't really have space, so I don't have really a chance to give you a clean, perfect background. So as I can't make my studio bigger and I don't want to move, so let's play with it. <laughs> so we do what we have and we do the best out of it. I mean, Peggy is a magician. She's absolutely incredible, and, and she's, she's crazy and wonderful and amazing all in, in one. She's an absolutely artist, creator, designer, uh, and, and you can't stop her. She's, when she's doing, when she's creating something, she, she's like an explosion all over. And, uh, and, and she's also very dominant, so sometimes it's just clever just to shut your mouth and let her do. And uh, <laughs> because she knows what she wants, let her do it. We are working together since 20 years now, and definitely Christian Schuller is not existing without Peggy Schuller. And this is a wonderful combination which I do very much enjoy and, and, and feel very good with that. I mean, I'm the photographer, she's the designer, we always say, or she's the creative director, and I'm the whatever. You can give all these names to whatever you want. In the end of the day, we are a couple, we are a family, our life 
the photography is our life. We, we go to bed with the photography, we get up with the photography uh, and the images and, and everything together with our kids. And then this is like our crazy world we are in. And, and you're completely right when you, when everybody is coming on set and see first time Peggy working, it's like, ah, okay. All right, that's her. That's what she's doing on set. Oh my God, how can be somebody so full of energy and so powerful and realize so many things in the same time and so quick. She takes a scissor and she cuts something out. She puts it in. She changes in two seconds. Her dress is somehow not the form she wants to have. She takes some carbon. Uh, she cuts out some carbon, puts it into the dress and suddenly the form of the dress is the right form she wants to have. She's like, idea result is like one move of the hand. It's the one move. It's not like thinking, waiting, doing something for ages. No, she's like, she does it right away. Bam! She's like a hot knife going in the butter. Duck, shoo, poof. But it's the only way. We are both like that. We are not waiting. There's no waiting. There's now. We do it. We have an idea. We do it now. We have. We want to change. We change it now. And that's very tough for the team because they have to follow us somehow. Because it's, it's not like this instant. But it's the only way to work. If you want to realize some. Yesterday we were shooting. 16 pages and the cover and, and between eight o'clock and four o'clock in the afternoon. If you have that little amount of time and you want to shoot in that way in this kind of style, a big story, you must do that, bam, instantly. I mean, obviously in my work you can see, and in Peggy's and my work, we love colors. We love colors, but we also like black and white. We like strong statements. Color is a strong statement, black and white is a strong statement. Let's say it like this, colors can be very helpful to, to, to tell fairy tale stories. You no, know, we're we are, like, never, we're not growing up, that's with our thing, in, the, in a nice way. And when, we are, when you tell, when you are a storyteller, you do that what you did already as a kid. You, you, in the, when you have been a kid and you were reading your book in your bed, before you fell asleep, you have had all these stories in your head, these dreams in your head. And, now we're in a good age to realize these themes. So we're still running behind them and they are very colorful very often. So yeah, let's use them. Or, or the opposite, make it very black and white. As photography is our life, photography, images, all these things. And we are, yes, you're living in 24 hours. I mean, we are in the same house as the studio and upstairs we are living and in between other kids. But it's nothing negative about that. It's the opposite. It is very positive. It is, it is even Mostly it's very nice even in the evening when you have a glass of wine uh, but you really start talking about the shooting on the next day. But in between we spend with the kids for two or three hours you forgot about completely about the work because the kids they have other things in their head and we have very kids like problematics. But it is like it's like the air you're breathing. It's just there. But it's good. We we decided that. We are not this you know we are two kinds of creatives. The one have work and private life separated. And they really make a very big gap between those two. And there are the others where you can't separate it, where the kids and everything is living in the middle of it. When we have preparation here, the kids are coming down. Even in the shootings, they're often coming down. They're just hanging there. The kids are watching. The kids are sitting here. They love to take the camera themselves. Uh, they love to have fun here and then helping with the props, things like that. It's the way they're growing up. For them, photography and this kind of sets is like, as if we would make some cake cooking in the kitchen. This is very normal life. When you talk about the right gear, when you talk about the right camera, it's a bit like cars. Uh, are you a Mercedes guy? Are you a Porsche guy? Or are you more a Ferrari guy? This is kind of a character thing, something like, I mean, this is a car is very old fashioned, but it's a camera is a bit like that. It was always like that. Are you a Nikon guy? Are you a Canon guy? Are you a Hasselblad guy? For me, it was always a kind of a philosophy behind this thing and a bit of a character thing. And Nikon was for me, since I was a kid, it, Nikon was the camera. Because there have been some camera brands who have been the perfect one feeling wise for the doctors and for the uh, rich uh, private uh, people, guys who love to have the very fantastic piece of high tech in their hand and perfectly made, which I respected a lot. But Nikon was not that. Nikon was, it was without a question good. It was good for exactly what you needed. It was not a show 
piece of being good. It was not made to put it into, into a case behind glass and putting a nice light on it. Nikon was always for me the camera made for being used, made for the absolute front row, made for where the action is happening. It was already for me as a young, very, very, very young teenager, it was the F3, which I was like, wow. F2, I learned about that one, and then the F4. And this spirit of these cameras, for me, is still in the, in the uh, Z9. It is still this very special Nikon feeling into it. And I mean, sure, if Nikon would suddenly change and would make crazy cameras, I would have to change. But they didn't change. It's like the 850, the Z7. It was continuously the same kind of made for action, made for come with me, play with me. I'm your, I'm the perfect gear for you. I'm not doing any show. No show, no show. Take me, work with me, make me dirty, make scratches on me, do whatever you want with me, put some nails and put the nails inside, but don't mind, I still gonna work. And that was Nikon for me, that is Nikon for me. And I like that very much, it's kind of, it's always working. You take it and bam, 